Hi guys, Teresa here. So today we're gonna talk about a topic that I have been searching about when I was starting off. This is how to choose your blogging or vlogging camera. Let's start this video by talking about what you need when you're blogging and what you need with your vlogging. What you need when you're blogging is basically a camera that will give you good colors because you're taking many photos when you're blogging. And when you're vlogging, you need a camera that has good audio and good picture quality in videos. So, um, because we're gonna take many videos when you're vlogging. So, basically, pictures pag blogging and videos pag vlogging. Uh, at first, I was a lifestyle blogger and I didn't have the courage to do videos like this, yung nakikipag-uusap sa mga tao. So, uh, ngayon medyo pa-confident na si ate girl kaya nag-start na talaga. Pero yun, uh, lifestyle blogger po ako dati and I started using my phone when I blogged. So, phone lang gamit ko dati, iPhone lang. Pero yun, nag-invest talaga ako to look for a camera na medyo mura tapos magbibigay sa akin ng magandang quality na photo because I really wanted to cater to my clients na more. More, hindi lang yung picture lang sa phone. Pwede naman edit, oo, pero kasi mas maganda pa rin yung high quality yung photos mo. So, yun, nag-invest ako. Yung unang camera ko na ginamit sa vlog is yung Fujifilm X8 II, I think. X, basta yung first na X8 na Fujifilm. I really wanted the mirrorless camera para naiiba ko yung lens if ever makaipon na ako para maganda yung lens. So, yun. Yun yung maganda pag nagbablog ka. You look for a camera that is uh, handy yung Fuji nun, ang handy niya. Tapos, you can change the lens. Kasi pag nagbablog ka, yung importante is the lens. Kahit gano ka mura yung camera mo, pag maganda yung lens mo, wala, hindi na mapapansin na mura yung camera mo. Lalo na kung, like, when I started shooting OOTD photos, I got this 35mm lens. Yun, super ganda ng 35mm lens with any Fuji camera. Kasi na-try ko yun with my X-A2, tsaka yung X-T20, X-T10. Yun, ang ganda niya. Ang ganda lumilitaw ng photos for portrait photos talaga. So, yun. Uh, yun yung ginamit ko for blogging. It's the Fujifilm X-A2. Tapos nag-X-T10 ako. Tapos nag-X-T20 because the colors are so great. But the thing is, now, iba yung gamit kong camera for blogging. It is actually this camera na ginagamit ko ngayon. It's the newest Sony A6400. Because... Uh, I tried to look for other camera na. Kasi dati okay. Okay yung Fuji. Super okay niya. Hanggang ngayon medyo okay pa rin siya. Mas gusto ko pa rin yung colors I think. Oo. Mas mas buhay kasi hindi, hindi mas buhay. Mas, mas nagpa-pop yung colors ng Fuji film. Pero kasi nahihirapan ako sa Fuji paggabi. Lalo na if I'm traveling alone. Ang hirap na set ng camera when you're traveling alone. So Laging naka-auto mode, tapos ilalagay ko lang kung saan, tapos picture na. Pagkabi na ginagamit ko yung Fujifilm, super, it's really a hassle. Just the other thing that happened with me with Fuji is that nung pumunta ako sa other countries ng winter, yung clicker ng Fujifilm ko, X-T10 na experience ko yun, X-T20 na experience ko yun. Yung clicker ng camera, hindi ko siya maklik. para siyang nag-freeze. So, dinadala ko siya anywhere with me. Pero hindi ko din nagagamit. So, I opted for something na fit sa budget. Maganda yung reviews. And weather sealed. Kasi, yun, yung mga, yung mga Fuji ko dati, hindi sila weather sealed. Yung weather sealed kasi ng Fuji, super mahal na. So, I really didn't want to spend that much naman. Kasi meron pa rin akong camera for vlogging. So, yun, I opted for this A6400. Kakalabas lang nito last. I think this was released ngayon pa lang August or earlier, mga July. Pero ito, ang ganda niya so far. I really didn't expect na I would get good photos and good videos in one camera. Kasi ang hirap maghanap pag nag-search ka, girl, kung ano yung best vlogging, best vlogging camera at one. Yung isang camera lang gagamitin mo. Medyo mahirap, medyo makakahanap ka ng mas maganda yung photos, mas maganda yung videos. Wala yung both maganda. So, yun. Medyo nabigla ako na sa A6400. Medyo maganda naman si video. Actually, maganda yung video ng, A ng Sony. And yung photos, maganda din yung photos, pero hindi ko pa rin, 
Hinahanap ko pa rin siguro yung colors ng Fuji. Pero yun. Now I'm using the Sony A6400. Bakit ito yung pinili ko? Weather still. Color-wise, okay naman siya. Mas maganda yung reviews ng Sony with the other brands except for Fuji kasi hindi ko na kinonsider yung Fuji. Masyadong mahal kasi yung weather silk ng Fuji. Tapos, third na kinonsider ko is yung handy ba siya, ganun, and yung screen if naka-flip. Kasi sa Fuji, medyo nagiging hassle sa akin yung hindi siya naka-flip yung mga previous camera ko. Tapos, Third, fourth na naging consideration ko siguro yung itsura. Kasi ayoko naman yung super bulky na parang SLR camera, ganun. So, nag-mirrorless camera pa rin ako. So, I got what I was looking for sa Sony A6400. This is the one I'm using for vlogging now. I'm currently in the process of learning how to adjust things with the camera and yung colors, how to get the colors that I like, ganun. Pero, um... Transferring wise, ang bilis ng transfers in fairness, super bilis. Although the thing is, the sana yako na sa Fuji whenever I transfer my photos, I can go out of the app. Eto pag nag go out ako dun sa app, titigil yung pag transfer niya. So yun yun lang super slight difference na hindi naman hassle. Medyo gusto ko lang nag multi task pero hindi naman siya hassle talaga. So yun and right now pala I'm using the lens na kit lens nitong Sony A6400 and so far I'm loving it. Kasi yung lens niya parang nakakabayat guys. Kasi sa Fuji, kahit na yung mga friends ko and sister ko, napapansin nila na pag pinipicturean ko sila with my Fuji camera, medyo nakakataba. Tapos ito, in fairness, nung nagpicture ako parang, uy, parang wala. Walang walang taba factor na plus 10 pounds. Ganun. Hindi. <laughs> Yon. So, I'm really loving this camera right now. I'm just on the process of learning how to use it to maximize its um, specs. So, yon. Maganda din daw sa camera na to is when you're shooting videos, hindi siya namamatay kahit tuloy-tuloy na mahaba. Kasi may mga ano, may mga parang time span lang na pwede ka mag-film ng um, video. So, yon. Lahat sinasabi video nito maganda. Pero now, I'm using it for photos and I think maganda nga talaga yung videos. With my previous video, kung pinanood nyo, yung XO concert, medyo nabigla ako nung ginamit ko to kasi parang ang ganda pala ng colors niya, ganun. Kaya, I'm gonna maximize this to use this for both vlogging and vlogging. Pero, I really need another camera for vlogging because this one is kinda big for vlogging. Lalo na if you're traveling around, ganun. You need something handy. Kaya, I'm using this camera, the very famous Canon G7X Mark II. So, let's talk about bakit ito yung pinili ko. Kasi pag sinerge mo sa internet, nilitaw doon Canon G7X Mark II or yung Sony RX something. Basta RX something something. Basta. Yun. Sony and Canon ang lilitaw. Sony kasi is known for the videos. Maganda talaga ang videos ng Sony. Pero, this little one, this Canon G7X has been the go-to if everyone kasi low light ang ganda niya. Tapos, audio-wise, okay-okay naman. And yung colors, kasi different yung colors. Napansin ko yun, super different ng colors ng Sony tsaka ng Canon. Si Canon parang mas real life. Si Sony kasi medyo parang nagsusoften yung colors. So, eto, I've been using this for so long na nakadating na to sa Korea, Japan, Taiwan. So, eto. It's really so handy kasi you can put it anywhere. Nung nasa Korea ako, ang dali lagay sa coat pag malamig. Eh kasi pag ganito yung gamit na camera, yung mirrorless cameras, medyo super laki and hindi mo sila malalagay sa coat mo when you're, ano, when you're walking around winter, di ba? Pag winter kasi ayaw niya yung masyado kayong madaming dala dahil super lamig. Tapos, eto, it really saved me. Talagang nakalagay lang siya sa mga bulsa-bulsa ko. Tapos, nung nag-fashion week din ako, super ganda nito kasi kahit maliit yung bag ko pag fashion week, malalagay ko siya dun sa bag ko. Super kasyang-kasya. Yun, you need something na super handy. Yun yung una yung co-consider pag nag-vlog kayo. You need something handy. Although, mayroon mga vloggers talaga na gusto nila yung madaming setup na mic, ganun, and DSLR camera. Pero, girl, super hirap talaga. Lalo na yung when you're traveling solo, when you're traveling solo, you're bringing everything, bringing plastic bags if you're gonna buy something, bringing your bag, bringing a camera and tripod is really so hassle. Lalo na if 
you still want to be in fashion, ganon habang nagta-travel ka. Syempre, gusto natin fashion pa rin tayo pag travel, di ba? So, yun. Ang hirap ng malaking camera. Kahit na maganda yung video nitong Sony at makukuha ko yung vlogging and vlogging with the Sony A6400, hindi ko pa rin siya dadalin everyday for vlogging. Kasi ang bigat, super bigat. Tsaka may mga situations na gusto mo maliit yung camera mo kasi gusto mong i-film yung nangyayari sa'yo pero nakakahiya pag malaki yung camera, di ba? So, yun. Ang ganda ng Canon G7X Mark II. May bago kasing release yung Mark III na mayroon 4K videos. Mas maganda yung grip niya dito. Mas parang malaki. Ganon. And yung dito may ano na, saksakan na for my jack. Kasi yun yung naging ano, complain ng lahat ng tao dito sa Canon G7X Mark II. Although it's giving us everything that we need for vlogging, the thing is yung audio niya medyo pangit. Sana kasi si Canon, hindi ko alam bakit hindi naisip ni Canon. Kasi dati man siyang nirelease na hindi na niya nirelease ngayon na Canon Viction Mini. Yun yung pinakamagandang audio ng camera ng Canon. I don't know but nung tinigil nila yon kahit na may good reviews about the audio, hindi nila nilagay yung audio na ganun sa new cameras nila. Although pangit pa yung, alam ko, bababa pa yung megapixel ng Viction Mini. Super kung may mahahanap ako ng Viction Mini, bibilin ko talaga siya kasi ang galing, ang handy niya. Para lang yung compact powder, guys. Pag sinearch nyo, isearch nyo, para siyang compact powder na you can put anywhere, tapos pwede siyang wide screen, wide angle. So, kitang-kita, super. Yun talaga yung gusto kong bilhin, pero wala na. Super matagal nang hindi nag-release ng ganun, and yung mga makikita nyo online is double, triple, quadruple the price nung binibenta siya. Kasi dati binibenta siya at around 15,000. Tapos ngayon makikita nyo siya sa Amazon, eBay, na second hand ah, na parang nasa thousand thousand dollars ganon or eight hundred dollars grabe talaga super double double impresyo pero yun pa rin siguro yung pipiliin kong vlogging camera if nag-release yung, yung canon ng ganon pero eto eto yung sa second don the only problem is the audio kaya sa G7X Mark III pinalitan nila yung audio actually hindi nila pinalitan medyo naging okay yung audio pero hindi pa rin siya perfect na kailangan mo nang malalagyan ng mic. Pero the thing about that is pipigat yung camera mo kasi you need to buy the parang ano, parang lalagyan na ng camera pang set up yung tinatawag nilang plate. Pipili ka ng plate para malagay mo yung mic mo doon at naka extend siya dito. So Medyo pipigit pa rin yung camera. Bibili ka nga kasi ng maliit na camera para, ba diba, handy and you can take it everywhere. So, I think okay na rin tong Mark II kahit may lumabas na Mark III. Kaya sa mga gustong bumili ng vlogging camera, actually, it's the time to buy Canon G7X Mark II kasi madaming magbibenta ng units nila. Babagsak yung presyo for sure kasi Mark III nandyan na. Actually, nakita ko na sa photos ng mga bumibili sa Henry's camera na yun, nandun na yung mga Mark III na pre-order nila. So, eto, eto talaga ang OG vlogging camera. Tapos, next one, nasasabihin ko, although satisfied na ako dito, naghanap ako ng stabilizer dati, kaso nabibigatan ako. Sa Joby pa lang na tripod, nabibigatan ako. So, hindi ko binili kahit na, kasi mahilig ako yung nag-vlog na naglalakad sa daan, lalo na pag nagta-travel ako alone, kasi wala naman may kilala sa akin doon, diba? So, kahit naglalakad ako, nag-vlog ako, ganun. So, kailangan ko ng stabilizer. Kaso kasi, medyo mahal. Mahal, tapos mabigat. Kaya, naghanap ako ng camera na mabibigay sa akin yung stable videos without buying another accessory for it. So, I bought this Osmo Pocket from Henry's Professional. So, yun. Ito yung ginagamit ko pag nabawa nag-shoot ako ng scene lang ng mga daan, ganun. Kaya pag naglalakad lang ako, gusto ko lang nakikita na naglalakad ako, hindi ako nagsasalita. Kasi medyo pangit yung audio nito. Yung audio nito parang isipin nyo nasa banyo ka na super liit. Tapos ganun kakulob yung voice mo dun sa audio na. Lalo na pag madaming tao. Kasi kinacancel out niya yung noise pero nagiging parang fish tank yung voice mo. Kaya, hindi ko siya masyadong ginagamit sa talking-talking videos. Puro mga 
ano lang, mga clips na pang montage, gano'n. So, eto. A DJI Osmo Pocket. Ah, namatay yung camera ko, guys. So, eto, i-recap na lang natin yung mga sinabi ko kanina before ending this video. So, for my vlogging camera, I'm using the A6400 because I looked for something na weather sealed because I'm traveling a lot and I like going to places when it's winter. And it has been a problem to me na hindi weather sealed yung camera ko. Kaya, I looked for something weather sealed na affordable ka pa rin. Kasi yung mga weather sealed camera are usually pricey, super pricey. So, yung second naman na tinignan ko is yung portability pa rin. Handy dapat siya kahit na it's giving us uh, DSLR feels. Ganun. So, mirrorless. I went with mirrorless camera. And yung third is yung nachi-change pa rin yung lens. And the fourth one siguro, naghanap pa rin talaga ako ng camera na maganda pa rin yung physical na itsura niya kasi may times na masasama sa photo mo, ganun. Siyempre, dapat maganda pa rin yung camera. Kasi pag SLR siya, medyo ang pangit yung makita pag nag-OOTD photos ka, ganun. So, yun. I went with Sony A6400 for all those reasons. And yung photo niya pala. Siyempre, yung photo quality. Pag nag-search ka kasi online, it's either Fuji or Sony. But you can compare both naman because they have different features talaga and different yung colors nila although sinasabi mas maganda si Fuji. Si Fuji kasi mas warm, si Sony mas cool. Pero they're giving us the real vibes, yung reality colors. Ganun. <laughs> reality colors. Basta yun, yung buhay, buhay, buhay na buhay pa rin. Iba lang yung pagka warm and cool ng photos nila. So, ganun. And for my vlogging camera, I would probably use the A6400 then because yun, ang ganda naman ng videos niya and na-upgrade yung mga A-line ng Sony with this one because eto, in-improve nila yung videos. Yung time ng pag-take ng videos and I think, madami, madami itong improvement sa videos pero hindi kasi yun yung specs na tinignan ko with A6400. Naghanap lang ako ng Sony camera na weather sealed na latest. So, yun. <laughs> I went with A6400. Basta Sony talaga yung gusto ko sanang ipalit sa Fuji. Kasi weather sealed yung cameras niya. Tapos maganda yung picture quality. So, eto. If I'm looking for a camera na both vlogging and vlogging, I will stick with this one. Sony A6400. However, super bigat niya na hindi ko siya dadalit for vlogging purposes. Lalo na if I'm traveling around. Hindi ko siya dadalit. Lalo na yung mga daily vlogs, gano'n, hindi ko din siya talaga dadali. Kasi syempre, pag nati-daily vlog ka, gusto mo yung may patago effect ka din yung pag minsan. So, yun, uh, I'm sticking with the Canon G7X Mark II with my vlogging camera. Although, I'm gonna use the Osmo Pocket for travel purposes and pag gusto kong magtago, kasi medyo ang liit-liit niya. And meron akong gustong i-shoot. Masushoot ko talaga siya ng patago. Kaya, yun, I'm sticking with my Osmo Pocket and the Canon G7X Mark II. I'm considering buying the Osmo Action din dahil maliit siya. And the Canon G7X Mark III, upgrading to the G7X Mark III kasi, yun, maganda nga talaga if you have a mic kasi nakakancel out yung noise, lalo na sa mga noisy environment when you're walking around and traveling, ganun. Maganda yung may mic ka para rinig na rinig yung boses mo. Pero, I'm still thinking about it kasi mabigat eh. Mabigat pag nagka-mic na siya. Although, ito, handy siya. Handy din yung bagong labas. Pero, pag nilagyan mo na ng mic, hindi na talaga. So, I think if you're looking for the best vlogging camera, I think nyo yung opportunity na to na lumabas yung Mark III to buy a new Mark II kasi bababa yung presyo niya and yung mga may Mark II dati, ibibenta nila yung mga units nila. So, if you're looking for a vlogging camera, go with Canon G7X Mark II or Mark III. Basta Canon G7X, maganda talaga. Guys, I'm really vouching on this camera kasi handy, picture quality, ang galing, video. And actually, guys, hindi ko to na-mention pala na eh, kasi ang dali niyang ilagay sa tripod, ang daling i-galaw-galaw ng tripod pag ito yung nakalagay kasi maliit lang. 
So, ito din yung ginamit ko for taking OOTD photos in Korea and in my house. Ganun. Laging ito na yung ginagamit ko kasi ang tagal na wala nung Fuji X-T20 ko nung binenta ko na siya. Tapos, itong A6400, parang hindi ko pa alam kung bibilin ko kasi medyo nasiyahan na ako sa photos ng Canon G7X. Pwede na talaga siya for vlogging and vlogging actually pero I really wanted something lang na magbibigay pa sa akin ng high, more high quality photos for vlogging purposes. Kaya pinili ko to. Pero yon both of my cameras are good for vlogging and vlogging naman. Kaya pwede din na pang vlog ko yung isa, pang vlog ko din yung isa. Hindi ko kailangan both in one event unless super major event. <laughs> so, there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from me kahit nag-share lang ako ng thoughts and experiences ko from choosing my cameras and blogging and vlogging. So, if you want to start blogging, vlogging, just go, guys. Go. I-push nyo. But if you don't have funds pa and you're still starting pa lang, you can actually start with your phone. Simple phone. Basta maganda yung camera ng phone mo. Yun. Share about your thoughts and vlog about it. And if you're good at dressing up, just fo shoot photos with your phone while you don't have camera, di ba? Actually, guys, yung mga Koreans, if you, you're going to Korea, kahit ang gaganda ng photos nila, they're just using their phone. So, maximize what you have. But if you want to upgrade and level up ito. Kung hanap ka ng camera that really suits your preference and dapat papasayahin ka na parang baby mo. Ganun. Kasi yung mga ito, babies ko talaga sila. And I advise you to really look for an advice sa mga may alam talaga sa cameras. Kaya uh, pumunta kayo sa Henry's, guys. Lalo na sa Henry's Trinoma, Henry's V-Mall sa Green Hills, and Henry's Kiapo. Oo. Super bait na mga doon. And kahit na mayroon ako mga namit sa mga branches na yon na kahit na, alam ba, oh, dicer siya ng Sony, ganun. He knows the specs of other cameras din para makapag-advise siya sa akin. May isang time pa na I just told them what I was looking for. Hindi yung specs wise, ha? Yung parang gusto ko maganda yung ganito, maganda yung ganun. Hindi yung technical. They really... Uh, advice na parang layman term lahat kahit alam nila yung mga specs ng mga cameras. So, I really trust Henry's for my cameras and especially that I'm in Pampanga talaga. I'm a local from Pampanga. So, it's really hard to look for a store na cameras lang na iba-ibang brand sa Pampanga. And when, when I went here sa Manila, yun, kompleto talaga si Henry's ng iba-ibang brands ng camera. Actually, if you're not from Manila, they have an online store na reliable naman kahit yung prices pantay lang. Although, you don't get, I, oh, I think you get it na rin dun sa online camera nila na yung cash discount. Nakukuha na rin yata is, tapos meron pa silang um, promos na parang 12 months no interest, 6 months no interest. I Correct me if I'm wrong, pero yung mga ganun, yung hat, hindi mo siya at once babayaran. Tapos meron pa yata silang, tumatanggap sila ng home credit, yung pwede mong utangin, gano'n. So, I advise na kahit ang dami ko nasabi sa video na to and medyo siguro na-encourage kayo, gano'n. I, I advise that you go to one of Henry's camera outlets for you to be advised by someone na parang alam niya yung mga specs talaga. So, there. And if you're from somewhere na walang Henry's, you can find them online. And yung mga specs, details ng mga cameras dun sa online store nila, Super detailed naman. Ito yung online nila, henryscamerafoto.com. So, there. And meron silang Facebook and Instagram. Nakakatawa yung Instagram nila. Minsan nagpapakasyon na answer sila. Tapos, sasagutin nila yung mga tanong about camera. So, if you really need advice, kahit hindi kayo nakakapunta dun sa outlet, visit nyo yung Instagram nila, Facebook nila. Or you can message them. Actually, I think they're replying yung sa Facebook nila. Nagre-reply talaga. Kaya yun, guys, you know, where's the stop for cameras? And I hope you enjoyed this video. Sana natulungan ko kayo kahit pa paano. Kahit experiences and thoughts ko lang to. And hindi yung specs-wise ganun. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button.